Everybody get up. Welcome to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, and I have an awesome special guest host today with me, Paulie Cantone. Welcome to Body Shop TV, Paul. Hi, Mama. How are you doing I'm today? I'm on top of the world. Thank you for having me out. I'm all um, excited. You're awesome. You're awesome. The body mechanic is out getting educated again on organic mushrooms in Connecticut. So uh, Isn't that called peyote? Uh, no, this is real, oh, oh, real okay. from China, <laughs> real organic mushrooms. Oh, okay, because organic mushrooms in Texas are called peyote. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Paulie, how was your week? Very uh, trying. Okay. Very trying. A lot of ups and downs, but holding together. You are. You're holding it real yeah, well. I'm I, proud of you. You got no other choice. You got to hold it together. You got to do what you got to do. That's right. You know, you know what I'm impressed with about with you, Paulie? Lately, I've been, I've been following you on Facebook, and I noticed that you've been putting out some really heavy, in, endearing messages, you know, uplifting people. And I just wanted to know, is that in turn uplift, uplifting yourself? It's, a, it's an extension of what I am feeling at that moment. Okay, I hear and you. In the situation I'm in, you have to, from my point of view, I have to be strong no matter what. Right. So by throwing out, the encouragement and telling them that I'm there and we're good and, and we're, you know, don't worry about me. Mm -hmm. I got everybody. And that's what I try to do is let my family know that anything, you call me day and night. Because we're going through a very rough period and, uh, you know, I got to stand strong. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. Someone's right. got to be the lion that stands on that rock. That's right. And you are the lion. Yeah, and, I'm, and the rock I stand on is God. And, He's got my hand. And right work. on. I'm proud of you, Paulie. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Um, I work with young people in Nassau County, and I, I try to be like a role model, encourage them. And this is an after-school program. And yesterday, we had a, a presentation on drugs and alcohol because we witnessed a few kids the week prior sniffing and smoking oh my God. Smarties candy. Are you hip to that? Oh, this yeah. is a new dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids are now, they take the little Smarties candy, comes in a twist tie cellophane. Right. So they take the top off and they, they crush it up so they, it becomes a powder and they smoke it. So what comes out is the powder. Then they crush it and make lines and sniff it. Direct sugar rush. They sniff it. But and, they and so... <laughs> And so we, we witnessed a couple of kids doing this, you know, like, like yeah. it was real cocaine. So it's, it's disturbing. Because you got to ask yourself, they're imitating somebody. And this is what I've always said all, all along. With, with the way our jails are full, the way our kids have no mm -hmm. work, the way drugs are running rampant, because they're imitating people that have taught them this is the way to go. Right. Don't worry about a job. Follow my path and you'll be rich. And they show them the flashy cars, the jewelry, the money, the blink. But they don't tell them the reality of the 20-year prison sentence. Yeah. All the people you're destroying. The fact that you are destroying your self-worth by lowering yourself into the depths of, of really, truly, of yeah. hell. Yeah. And you got to ask yourself, who are these people? And why are they showing this to the children? And, and everybody wants to say, well, you know, America's going downhill. Right. Of course, there are no heroes. Who's our heroes? Mm -hmm. I, I bring this subject up because so many people stereotype others. Yes. And as, as when I first met you, I was guilty of stereotyping you. That's all right. And after getting to learn who you are, loving who you are, I just think that you are the most amazing man I've ever met next to my father. And um, I, I, I remember when I was hanging out with a lot of bikers back right. in the day, people just tend to stereotype you. They group you, yes. they, you know, and they have this, this image that bikers ha have this bad lifestyle. And it's, it's that's really not. not. It's, it's, a, it's not even a lifestyle, it's a life. Mm -hmm. And I, I posted something, me and a few other guys, and it says if you, if you can't be 100% true to yourself, then don't come into our world because mm -hmm. we live by a strict code of you don't lie, don't cheat your brothers, don't try to fool the population. 
because you are what you are and you That's cannot right. change your stripes. And you got to be a man of your word. Yep. If your word is worth nothing, then you got to go. That's I don't true. need you in my life. I need strong, positive people who look for directions. Your word is your bond. That's it. It's all you have to live by. And so you are becoming the, the, the pillar in your family, especially through these hard times. You are the one that people are looking up to. And a lot of these kids that I work with don't have someone to look up to. They're latchkey, latchkey kids. That, There's no supervision. I was one of those latchkey kids. Back in the 60s. Mm. We didn't have CPS. We didn't have what we, the children have options now. I had an option to continually be abused by two people who couldn't, had no idea of reality. Mm -hmm. Or I can walk away and find people that inspired me. And unfortunately, it happened to be bikers who inspired me and who held wow. me. Wow. Showed me how to walk the walk and talk the talk and mm -hmm. how to be a man at a young age of 12, 13. And no other kid in the neighborhood could understand that because they all had moms and dads. And I had me. Mm -hmm. And I knew I needed direction. And a lot of these guys, um, who I love dearly, a lot of them are gone now. Um, you know, they, they taught me, if you can't do it, don't say it. Mm -hmm. If you can't deliver it, don't offer it. And above all, no matter what anybody says, stand up for what you believe. It, it means getting beat up. Mm -hmm. You're going to stand up and say it, and you're going to say it proud and right. loud, and you're going to be that. And what I try to do is I try to inspire other kids that are coming up. Even in my motorcycle club, I try to teach them. Mm -hmm. Where it is the bond, that's the thing. That's this right. is, I could put a patch on your back all day long, but don't make you a man. <laughs> the man makes the patch. Yep. And I inspire my children like that everybody that's why i do my t my program mm -hmm. my tv show because i want to be i want to be the guy that puts a smile on your face i want when you're down you can say you know what paulie said blah 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 and i'm going to try his way and when it works they go oh wow he was right you know the the most impressive characteristic about you paulie that i admire is that you are so altruistic when you were telling me all the the giving, all the sacrifice, all the, the fundraise that you guys do, especially for children, you just warm my heart, man. Because I was one of those kids. I was a street urchin. I was shuffled from family to family. And they, you know, family's family. Mm -hmm. If you're not, even though I was blood, but there's only so much care you're going to get from family because you're not really there as you're right. to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of a third wheel. And for a lot of years, I spent a lot of time by myself reflecting and learning. And, and you know, don't get me wrong, I, I was a bad man, and I used to do good things with bad money <laughs> because my theory was this, well, it ain't mine to begin with, so I might as <laughs> well give it away. And, and that's when I started getting involved in churches in the 70s, and I helped build a few shrines, and, and I never took any credit for it. I've helped people that have heart attacks behind the wheel of cars. Wow. The police have asked me my name so they can give, send me out and citizen in a month and a person of the year. And I always told them, God put me here for one specific reason. Mm -hmm. I did it. He recognized me. I don't need you to tell me I did a good job. God told me I that's did right. a good job. Right on. And that's the way you got to lead your life. You got to be mad. But God will put you where you need to be. Yep. So be aware of your surroundings because... You never can tell when he's going to call that's you right. and say, do my bidding. Amen. And that's, uh, that's how I lead my life. Paulie, I'm so glad you're hanging out with me today on Body Shop TV, standing in the gap while the body mechanic is in Connecticut. Yeah, eating, eating his mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he brings one back. Oh, he's going to bring a lot oh, back. Oh, I love mushrooms. <laughs> they're, they're my favorites. Especially and they're organic. The they're, they're all medicinal. He says that 90% of the product are mushrooms, and it's a, a tea and a coffee. Uh, the company's called Alfe, and he's very impressed with it. So. I'm interested in it. I'm yeah. very, I'm very interested in it. Mm. It sounds. Uh, what I like about Lloyd is he, he opens my mind to, to what I call the far-fetched and unreal. But <laughs> you know what? Without, without reality, we don't have reality. But without insanity, we really don't have reality. We yeah. really need to sometimes get off that beaten path and go. What's behind that rock or what's behind that tree? Let's dig. Yeah. And you, that's how you enlighten yourself. That's how you empower yourself by not being closed by mind. Be open to, the, to what is out here. That's right. And every time I see him, he always drives me crazy. Whether it's what, 
with the black tea, the, the, the <laughs> bee pollen, and now he's going to do me with mushrooms. This is like, <laughs> he's driving me nuts. See? <laughs> but I get, love it. we got to get you to a coffee anima yet. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Time is coming. Uh, you know what? Uh, from being in the military and spending a little time in uh, being incarcerated, that, it's kind of a touchy area. <laughs> because literally. Yeah, literally. In, in the military, they try to get you. And in prison, they try to get you. And I held off on both. So I'm, I'm still kind of like, okay. I'm You're good, still right? I'm trying to clam, and I'm really happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, but... But like I said, anything can happen. Anything's possible. Well, we want to invite you to our Touch Sensorium, which is happening this Monday. Uh, we're going to be having it at 203 East Pulaski mm -hmm. Road in Huntington Station from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., where the body mechanic and I are going to be giving away. Uh, we're going to be actually performing massages. People don't have to pay. It's all free. Veggie juicing and other wellness modalities. And we also have vendor tables if you're available to show off your wares at only $30. So that's this Monday, the 17th, is that the 17th? Yeah, 19th. I, so. I have yeah, no yeah, idea. The 15th? So yeah, yeah, 17th of May from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Awesome Heels School of One, 203 East Pulaski Road, Huntington Station. The purpose of Body Shop TV is to provide you with information about wellness and relationships to help in the longevity of both. So give us a call. The number's on the bottom of the screen. Join in. We have some awesome guests. Our next guest, we're going to have this beautiful woman by the name of Diane de Blasi, who wrote a very, very touching book. We can't wait for you to hear it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York. And we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkman, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you.
for professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, and my special guest host, Paulie Paulie in the house. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to welcome my beautiful friend, Diane DeBlasi. Welcome to Body Shop TV, Thank Diane. Thank you so much. It's my honor to be here. I got to tell you, when yeah. I first met you, um, we went to a birthday party. We were celebrating Ellen's birthday. Yes, we were. And I just found you to be so different and so special. Your energy was just so touching to me, and I'm so glad that we became friends and that wow. you're here with us here on Body Shop TV. Well, I feel the same about you. You had a very special story that you shared with me that touched my heart, mm -hmm. and I invite you to share it with us. Um, I have many special stories, <laughs> and it may be about my daughter. Yes. My, my, my oldest daughter passed um, October of 2009. She, she, and I'm grateful that she passed peacefully in her sleep. And I can tell you now, I didn't feel like this at first. It was like two years before I got there that I can tell you that her passing has been a blessing to me. That's, wow. I have difficulty it has, in that statement. Yeah, so I, I want you to you know what? It, and tell I, me why. And, and, and when I thought that, it's, you know, I said, Diane, people are going to think right. you're nuts. Right. What are you saying? But you know what? It has put me in a different place because of her her soul is with God and I thank that mm -hmm. because she made me think differently see di things differently her and God because they they're always with us mm -hmm. no matter what right even though her physical body is here and I found a, a quote it says I feel my grief but I will not wallow in it mm. I honor the love of my daughter more than the loss of her. So how could you go wrong? And if had not she passed, I would not know God as I know him now. I always have faith. Mm. I would not know about his gifts, his angels. Mm -hmm. Hence my book, All of God's Gifts, that was given to us. And it is it's a pleasure, and I am, I'm honored and humbled that God would choose me to do this book and to allow me to take pictures. It's this picture. I love that picture. This picture here, it's amazing. I, was, I wanted to go for, for sunrise, and now I took this picture before my daughter passed in 2008. I wanted to go for sunrise, and I go East, uh, north of Huntington, Lloyd's Neck Harbor, mm -hmm. and Lloyd. <laughs> I love Lloyd. Mm. And I'm coming around the bend. It's early in the morning. I'm only car on the road. And I'm coming around the bend, and all of a sudden, this light comes down through the trees. And it, blind, it blinded me. I, I don't like to say blinded because I could see, but I couldn't drive any further. What time was it? It was early in the morning, mm -hmm. before sunrise. And so this light comes down, and I had to stop the car because I couldn't see it to go any further. So I always have my camera. That's what I was there for. Got out of the car, took pictures. Sunrise, and I'm thinking, oh, I missed the sunrise. Mm -hmm. Went to the park, took pictures, didn't think anything of it. That picture sat in my computer, which I have thousands of pictures, mm -hmm. sat in my computer for more than five years. Wow. And Last June, I thought, I woke up and I wanted to share a picture, sunrise photo, with, on Facebook, with everyone to thank God for a new day. It's okay. And I put it up there, a quote came to my mind, the quote's in the book, and when I shared it, everybody's, oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. And one, my one friend, Marie, calls me, and she says, Diane, that picture's beautiful. 
said, Marie, it's a sunrise photo. I got a yeah. lot of them, you know. Mm -hmm. She says, no, Diane, look at that picture more carefully. There was a sun, there, there's an angel in it. Mm -hmm. There was no one standing in that road that morning. No one. And I guess it was, it was my time to truly see the picture. And at that time, I had just read a book by Lorna Byrne, mm -hmm. Angel in My Hair. And she's a, a woman of who she, um, she sees angels since she's little. Wow, that's interesting. She lives in, in, in Ireland. She's a little younger than I. And she, she, was, she had a large family. She was deemed a little slow because she paid more attention to the angels because they talked to her and she did what they asked. Then she did the teachers or her siblings. So, but it, when she became an adult, she realized, you know, this is what my life is. And they told her, well, write a book. And I, she wrote a book. And there is a, um, a prayer in there that she channeled from Archangel Michael. Mm. And the prayer is to, it's for healing angels. And what I did is I took that photo and I put the prayer on oh, the back. Nice. Of course, I have her credited on it. Nice. Very, nice. Very nice. But um, it, it and oh, and cool. and I have at times given it out to other people who I just meet. People just mm -hmm. sometimes just tell me their stories, you know, their heartaches, and and I often wonder why. You know, they just, I guess they feel compelled to talk to me, mm -hmm. and I just hand them a card and. It gives people something to hope for, right. to know that there's something more than everyday life. Than what we see. Yeah, and, and there is. There's got to be. Oh, mm -hmm. most there's definite. Gotta. And I tell yeah. everybody, when you have worries, give it up to God. Worries and fears, God doesn't want us to worry and fear. Give it up to God. I tell them, take your worry. Because everybody gets them. You get that little worry and get that fear in the pit of your stomach. Yep. And, it's, and it's like, oh, God, this really bothered me. And I, and I, it happens to me, and I'll say, okay. I picture putting it in a bubble, send it up to God and the angels to take care of. Now, it doesn't take that problem away, mm -hmm. but what it does, it makes your mind clearer Easy so that mind, you can yes. get the messages <laughs> right. from whether it be your guardian, your angels, your, your, your loved ones, your spirit guides, God, whichever way you want to believe. Mm -hmm. But you're getting those messages from the higher self in order to be able to take care of your messages. That's right. You know, and it is amazing. Just this book itself, how that came to be. I create, I wrap stones, I love and I make that stuff. trees of life. And I have them in several stores in the on the island, but I did a, um, I did a craft, well, it's not a craft fair, a holistic and okay. psychic fair yeah. out at Gurney's last, last April. Well, I did that, and I have my nature photos here. My daughter's with me. She's selling the jewelry, and I have all the photos out, and this woman comes up, and she's looking at my photos, and she's, wow, these are beautiful. So I said, well, thank you. I said, and I like to share God's beauty, you know. And she says, well, she said, but I have a message for you. She says, I says can I give it to you? I said, sure. She says, um, you're being told, I'm, I'm t they're telling me to tell you to do a book yeah. about, with your photos. I said, okay. I said, I always wanted to make a, do a book. I said, but I thought I would write a children's book. Mm -hmm. I love children. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, okay, thank you. So, but I got on with the day. And that was at last April, and April goes by. Didn't think of it. May comes, and my friend, my master, my Reiki master teacher, she has her own show out in Riverhead, Phoenix Rising, and she invited me on. The, no, she um, was she invited me? No, she had she had people on the show, and she had a medium on it. And I called in. I don't call in all the time. I was guided to call. I called, and they said, who is this? It's Diane de Blasi. Uh, we have a message for you. I said, okay, what's the message? Was, the angels are saying, get started on your book. I said, oh. I said, okay. And then I proceeded to tell them 
what happened the previous month. Nice. So, so and I took, took that message and I started. What happens when we all start projects? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you start them and you put them aside. Right. And I did. And May comes. Now I have the jewelry in different stores, so I meet, and they're in a lot of different spiritual stores, so I meet a lot of intuitives, mediums, and, and this woman walks up to me. I've never seen her before. And she says, I have a message for you. I says, yes. She says, from the angels, and they're saying, uh. get the book done. <laughs> that book needs to get done. It's going to touch many, many hearts. I said, okay. Well, when you get a message from spirit, Three months in a row, you know you work on it. Mm -hmm. You listen. Time to take care of business. You listen. Yeah. And hence, there it is. Awesome. I am so, so blessed. And I thank God. Let go, let God. That's right. And everything just works out the way it's supposed to. That's awesome. It is amazing. So how can someone get a copy of your book? Um, there, it, it's online right now. I'm mm -hmm. working on getting them into the stores that I have the jewelry in. Um, right now, you can get it through Create Space and Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can, or you can go onto my website, and that is Kiana's Angels 09. Nope, that's my email yes. address. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can email me at Kiana's Angels 09 <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> Or hearing your angels twelve, hearing your angels twelve dot com. Very and nice. It is amazing. And then, of course, you go on my website. You'll see all of, all of my photos. And I now, just, are you aren't you planning some sort of um, book signing? Oh yes. Are Thank you? you for reminding me. See, I stay in the moment. <laughs> just be in the now. That's the way to live. That's yeah. right. Um, tomorrow is my book signing. Awesome. And it's funny because person who invited me is the very first person who gave me the message wow. about doing the book. That and nice. she's, she, she's having an event. She's a shaman. And it's on, in Huntington, East Huntington Station mm -hmm. at Walt Whitman um, Birthplace. Okay. And she's having an event for shamanic journeys. You know, she's doing a workshop just to educate people. What time is the event? The event is at 4 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then after the main event, then at 6.30, I'll be available to sign a book for you. Nice. I'm Beautiful. so excited. Beautiful. That's blessed. so exciting. I'm very, oh, I am so thrilled. I you really should, You am. should be. You should be thrilled. You've been touched by an angel and you know, on three different occasions. That's right. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and I, I thought my journey was going to be to um, with Reiki because I, I was attuned with Reiki and you know it's okay I thought that's what I was, I was going to be healing people and you know what but it's not I know my journey it's Reiki is, is amazing and it'll always be part of my life mm -hmm. but I know my journey is definitely to make people more conscious of nature because those are the gifts that God gave us. Mm -hmm. You know, God gave us so many beautiful things in this world. And, and they're all just gifts. That we need to really just look at them and appreciate them and have gratitude. No, that's the way of the world. No one, everybody forgets because that you they need get to so be busy. grounded and rooted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those people that I on just go for a ride, go down to the beach. Oh, absolutely. And I park my bike, I take off all my gear. Oh, I love the ocean. And mm -hmm. I just sit at the ocean. And one of my friends used to tell me, well, you nuts, man. Oh, no. no, actually, I'm not. He said, because if you listen hard enough, you're going to hear what you need to know. Mm -hmm. And if you feel that in Amen. your heart and you open your mind, <laughs> you're going to get answers to oh, things. And absolutely. they look at me up. Man, you are so crazy. And I Paul, told him, you are asked God a question. I said, and what, do you, what does everybody say? I pray to God, I ask for this, that, and the other thing. And he doesn't say nothing. And I You're tell not him, listening. he does say something to you. Because it's not going to be him that's going to give you that message. It's going to be the person you're going to bump into. That, that you notice that, that something's going wrong and you reach out your hand and they look at you. And they'll finish a sentence for no apparent reason. And then you look at them and go, 
Well, that's the answer I'm looking for. Paul, I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. This you man is to, amazing. You have to be in tune and understand that. Absolutely. Like miracles. Oh, I need a miracle. Miracles happen every, every time day. a baby is born. It's a miracle. A flower blooms. Yep. Every day we and wake up is a it's miracle. It's a miracle. It's a gift. That's right. And a lot of people just take it for granted. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, I'll get up. Will you get up? You don't know if That's you're going right. to get up. That's right. So you got to love and appreciate everything and listen. Mm -hmm. You got to listen to the wind. You got to listen to the sun. You got to listen to your heart. You gotta open it. Man all after up. my own heart here. <laughs> and if you don't, well, I, I wear a shirt. It says, uh, "I'm never late. I'm on Indian time." So <laughs> one of my friends says to me, "He goes, you're not a Hindu." I said, Chow, ch ch ch. "It has nothing to do with any third world country, you dope." <laughs> Indians believe that when you get there is when you're supposed to be there. That's right. That's right. So they don't wear watches. And if you notice, I, I have 40 watches at home. Everyone works. One's better looking than the next. I don't wear them. Be in the now. Because I don't need it. I will be where I need to be mm -hmm. when I get there. And everybody yells at me, you're always late. I'm not late. You're early. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> Everything in divine timing. Yes. Yeah. It's Split te split second. Everything in divine yep, timing. Uh, it, so Absolutely. many things happen in a moment, mm -hmm. and in that moment changes your life either completely, or it doesn't change you at all. And if you're paying attention, that happens to change you, mm -hmm. to get you to notice something, mm -hmm. to get you to look. Absolutely. Can I can I tell you what I do each morning mm -hmm. um, to put myself in a good frame of mind uh, to start the go. day? Yeah. You want to call it a mantra, a prayer, whatever you want to call it. First thing I always say is, I will not anger today. I will not worry or fear today. I will respect my elders, my, my elders, my, um, trying to, my elders, my um, loved ones, and my teachers. Then it's all in the book. And then I say, I will um, make earth as it is in heaven. Right? Yeah, I didn't say it backwards. Sometimes I say it backwards that dyslexic comes in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, I will um, show love and kindness to all beings that I meet. And then I go on to, I will not take anything personally today. I will show no judgment. And, or assumptions today to, towards anyone, and I will be impeccable with my word, and I will always do my best. See? And just living, you, you're setting your intentions for the day, so you're already starting your day mm -hmm. on a good note, you know, and it's, it just works. That's right. See, now I have my personal thing, and mm -hmm. someone told me I was nuts. <laughs> Every morning I get, oh, I love when they tell me I'm crazy. Because they follow me. So how crazy am I? <laughs> Every morning I get up, you wake Sandy, and before my feet hit the ground, I look up and I say, you know, God, thanks. You Every gave me day. another day. Mm -hmm. Every day. I go to the window, I open it up, I take a breath of fresh air. Absolutely. And one of my friends says to me, dude, you look like you're nuts. Well, continue to look like I'm nuts because no matter where I am, no matter what the situation is, when I open my eyes, I thank him. That's thank right. You, Lord. Let's do it. Let's find something we can. And my theory is, and I hate to say it, I like to get in there, screw shit up, and leave. <laughs> and if I can get you to go in there and follow me, and if I can screw your head up long enough to go, let me try that. I did my job. <laughs> <laughs> I did my job. I made you think. I, do I made the, you feel. I do the same thing. I, and, and I, every morning when I wake up, I thank God for the new dawn, you yeah. know, the new every dawn. Day you and before I fall day. asleep, no matter what has happened, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm telling you, if someone could have passed away in my family that day, I would still say, thank you, God, for this day. Yep. Mm -hmm. You thank him for That's every, every breath you take. thing that happens. There's so much to see. There are it's gifts there. in everything. It's all there. Absolutely. Everybody brings something different to the table. You just got to find that in that person and just tweak it a bit. Mm -hmm. You gotta make, show them. Some people need to be shown 
that you do have a gift, and there is a reason why you're here, and you're just not here because, well, you know, I... I Everyone has well, it. I, I always get this one. Well, you know, I'm just along for the ride. I'm just waiting for the shoe to drop. Well, why don't I just hit you in the head with a hammer, and we'll call it a wrap. Why, why wait for the shoe to drop? I'll hit you in the head with a rock, and uh, see how that feels. Maybe that will wake your head up, and, and maybe you'll think about what you just said. Are you willing to sit there and wait for death? Or are you going to live your life? Got to live it. Get out of here. Absolutely. It's a big, beautiful world. Diane, give us your contact information because we have to go. Absolutely. Um, Kiana's Angels, 09.com. No, at gmail.com. Gmail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and hearingyourangels12.com. And also on Facebook, Diane de Blasi. You know what? I have met, met many, many nice people. We all post spiritual, mm -hmm. and not only spiritual, just uplifting posts. It, Inspirational. And it's, yes. That's it's, what you, and have, it's, you have to and inspire. It's wonderful. You know what? But, but it's, it's not that we have to. No, we have to. Mm. Because you know what? There are people out there that can't inspire themselves. There are people out there. But they're there. not ready for it. But, but everybody's on their own journey. Wait a minute, but Paul. Yeah. Everyone is on their own journey in their own time. So when they're ready, when their soul is ready to waken up, not their soul, sorry, when their ego or higher self is ready to waken up, and, third and eye. then and they realize it, that's when they're going to know whether you were there or not. But something you said 10 years ago may click on them well, that's now. That's why you have to inspire. Why you have to just be, be. The inspiration. Just you have be. to be the one that's there at that right. Well, we moment. are all here for this. We're all here for the same reason I to help each other, to well, love this each is other. This is just a ride. This is just a pre warm up. But we are. We are. Oh, absolutely. Because we are souls having a human experience. We are not humans just living. We are souls <laughs> having a human experience. For Thank all, you. For all of Very our viewers, oh, you, you're quite welcome. For all of our viewers, please join us tomorrow at 4 o'clock at the Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman Mall. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. No. No, the Walt Whitman Birthplace. Birthplace. On, in um, Huntington. Yes, on, in Huntington Station. All right. And give us a uh, phone number one more time to contact oh, you. 631-682-6809. Mm -hmm. Diane, thank you so much for being with us today. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> thank you. Dr. Robert Brevard. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we 15 years. We do a vast years. array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com.
Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas. With a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. No, shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, and my special guest host, Polly. Hey, where am I? Hey, <laughs> hey, yo, hey. <laughs> I'd like to welcome um, our guest, Lisa Cohen, uh, our, a mutual friend of ours, Teresa Hart, mm -hmm. brought us together. I, I read an article about you, and I was very, very impressed. Back in the day, I did a lot of work in the jails, and your story just touched my heart, and I just feel like we have so much in common. So, Lisa, welcome to Body Shop TV. Thank you for having us. And tell us all about your organization. Well, I started Living Water for Women in 2010. It really grew out of a passion I had for helping women that have been in jail. See, I've been volunteering at Nassau County Jail since 2001, going to the drug and alcohol program there. And uh, I lead a support group, and I do a writing workshop. And again and again, I'd see women back but the best laid plans and and I realized over time that there's something wrong with this picture that probably it's because they're going back to the same town there's certain towns on Long Island we know the drugs are rampant or it could be the same boyfriend the same husband or the parents who are still getting high or drinking mm -hmm. and unless you change everything which I tell them but they don't listen they think they'll just change one thing or do it smarter this time and not get caught it doesn't work mm -hmm. and so I actually went back to school at a ripe old age went online then went to Empire got my degree oh I love that school human service management because my forte was always delegating and managing mm -hmm. I ran a business with my husband for 30 years we sold it two years ago and um, invested some money, bought two houses, and then set about creating a program, which I really didn't know what I wanted. I went around visiting other places and saw what I didn't want mm -hmm. and started gathering ideas. And it wasn't until the women started coming, little by little, that God said, I'm going to give you on-the-job training, because I really didn't know what to do. And we've been gradually tweaking the program adding more structure. It's more than a sober house because there are, I, I wouldn't say hundreds, there are hundreds out there for men. Mm -hmm. There's very few places on Long Island for women, which right. is a major problem. I've taken women to places that I didn't blame them for going out and getting high the next day because I couldn't live with mm. putting them. You can't run a sober house and put eight women in a room in bunk beds and expect them to get along and have five rooms like that in one house. So we've changed it we have no more than two women in a room okay there are two houses side by side one house has a group kitchen and living room and we're trying to create a sense of family where 
They come together, they, they do chores, they cook dinner together, they eat together, and, and have a family there. And then we, we mandate that they go to outside meetings of their choice, AA or NA. We do a devotional in the morning. Um, we offer prayer to them. We have workshops coming in. In fact, Teresa comes in and does a workshop on self-esteem. We have anger management. Trying to give these ladies everything that most of them didn't have growing up. Mm -hmm. Talk about following that example. Um, they didn't have it. They had no role models to follow. And whether you realize it or not, the underlying cause, and I didn't, wasn't sure until I went back to school and studied it, is shame. 90% of women that are in jail across the country, probably the world, that have drug and alcohol issues have been abused, whether it be physical, verbal, emotional, sexual, one way, shape, or form, and they're carrying around the shame. And they go to jail, and they're in a uniform, and they can't even have a scrunchie for their hair, and they feel about that big. And so they're told they're no good. Not that they did bad things, wow. but that they're bad and they'll never amount to anything. And we're trying to restore them, not to just who they were before they started doing drugs or alcohol, but who God wants them to be. And that's what we're trying to get them to see, that just like he gave me this purpose and this calling. I mean, if you had told me 20 years ago I'd be doing this, I would have laughed. <laughs> because I was shy as could be, couldn't speak in front of people, and now I'm going out all wow. over the place. That's I'm awesome. in the jail weekly. I've even gone on the men's side spoken to 75 men there. It's a little more challenging, yeah. but, but they listen, <laughs> at least. Um, but these women need help, and I know we can't help them all. Right. They have to be willing to change everything and to follow the structure, because as I said, we are a transitional home. Sober house, all they do is occasional drug testing. You come and go as you please, or worse, in your shelters in some sober homes, they'll kick them out at 9 in the morning and say, you're out now, you can't come back till 5 o'clock. That's not a home. Right. That's a, a roof over your head. That's it. How long is a transitional period? We're hoping between six and nine months. But it, you know, there's no, nothing set in stone. We had one woman came for two months. She left. She, got a, she was working. She got reunited with her husband, got an apartment in Glen Cove where the homes are, mm -hmm. and actually got custody of one of her children back. Oh, so nice. it was just that short interim period. Mm -hmm. And I had actually met this woman in jail. When she got out, she volunteered. Then she relapsed and then came back to us again, which is very often what happens. I'll make that connection in the jail, and they don't necessarily come right then. Right. They've they got to give it their last best shot first mm -hmm. when they get out. And then when they fail, then they call. But what, whatever it takes, they, as, as we all know, they've got to hit rock bottom yeah. before they're willing to, to do it our way that we think is better, which we're, we're always tweaking. It seems every right. month I come up with a new sheet of house rules. And some of them, very often, they're getting more stringent. But as I tell the ladies, it's to help them. Right. Because like parents with children, if you let your children run wild, you know, they do what they feel like. Mm -hmm. You know, that structure, that it is love. And I think they sense it. I really think they do. Lisa, how many um, women can you house at one time? Thirteen between the two houses. So right now we have five. Got two more coming shortly. And some had said to me when we first started, well, why aren't we open yet? And, and I had no answer except that it's God's timing. And we went through a whole transition period. I had a house manager there, I had to evict, I had to learn about the eviction process, that in Glen Cove it only takes 40 days, it doesn't take six months like Glen Cove, wow. like Nassau County, I mean, yeah. and um, went through that and really decided I wanted a house manager that had the same moral values that I did, that having the drug and alcohol background was not so important to, as knowing I could trust her. I, I was just away for five days with my grandchildren and my husband and my daughter in Florida. And I knew that everything would be okay. In fact, she did an intake. A new client came in, referred from an um, outpatient program, and it turned out I had met this woman in jail a few months ago. And she didn't want to come then. But like I said, she went back out, and relapsed, and almost wound up back in jail. And now she sees that God has his hand on her life. How is your program funded? We get money from social services. Um, very little, whopping $471 a month for room and board. 
We get food from Long Island Cares. We get from uh, Fresh Market, Supermarket in Woodbury. They donate, and IGA in Bayville. We take donations from everywhere. Yeah. Do you apply for grants? We're working on that. We got one large grant. Thankfully, it helped us replace all the windows and doors in the house because there was lead in them. So the federal government did that mm. for us. Because these houses were built in 1906 as wow. hotels. They were boarding houses, which is why we picked them up, figuring you wouldn't have any of the nimbyism that goes on mm -hmm. everywhere yeah. across Long Island. They were grandfathered in. And I don't believe it's an accident that I was in business for 30 years with my husband, was involved in Rotary, I'm still vice president of the Glen Cove Chamber of Commerce. I know the mayor. I know all these local businesses because we needed them all. Mm -hmm. When we were renovating these houses, That's we needed right. carpet. We needed paint and this and that. And I called on the people in the community, and they really came together to help That us. is awesome. Very, very nice. Thank you. Are these women allowed to have visitors? They can have visitors on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. uh, we let them go out. We didn't have it initially. Now we have a 30-day restriction period where the first 30 days they can't leave except with someone else from the house going to a meeting or going to a doctor's appointment or social services. And um, it's, it's working. I find that it is working. It's and, excellent. Uh, we're, we're inviting the community and local churches to help us out. We're doing an open house on June 7th so that people can come and, and see what we've done because it, it's interesting. The article, I think the one you read, had a before and after picture of mm -hmm. one of the bedrooms. We had a mover come. This uh, storage location gave us furniture that someone had donated. They left. And I said, can you get me a local mover to bring it? It was big. It was heavy. So he gets this local mover, and the mover's partner that came with him said, I used to live here. Wow. I lived in this bedroom, and I showed him the picture. He said, well, I didn't think it was so bad. I said, come look at it now and see what it looks like now. Uh, <laughs> night and day. It was night and that's day. That's awesome. Because they were rat infested. There was bed bugs. We had to <laughs> paint every bedroom. Five bathrooms between the two houses. We gutted four of the five, mm. almost totally. It's just, you know, you have addicts and alcoholics living in a place where it's an absentee landlord and anything goes. Yeah, they're running amok. Mm -hmm. they, they did. They're going back to right where they started from. Yeah. You know, this is, unfortunately, you're in the jails, you see that. It's common. Nobody understands it. And then when you get repeat offenders, why? Because it's the only lifestyle they know. That's the only thing right. they know. This is with lack of education. Right. Now, you, you work in the Nassau County jails. I've seen the inside of the Suffolk County jails. And they don't offer any of those inmates anything but here's a release date. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. I'll go to church. Oh, you know. But what do I do when I get out? Where do I go? I have no money. I have no job. I have no home. My family's gone. What do I do? I go back to the streets. Right. At least you're giving the women an opportunity to say, look, here's an alternative to continue the structure. Let me now re-educate you to come back into society. And that's where a lot of the repeat, a lot of the people in jail are second, third, fourth time felons. Exactly. Because even when you're incarcerated, there is, they, you just know, I'm going to do my time, I'm going to go home, and the same people that didn't care about me before aren't going to care about me now. And my friends are going to assume I'm going to come right back to it. Mm -hmm. And of course, no, you're going to come back to it, so it's a revolving door policy. Which, if you start it from the beginning when people are young and you educate, and not even the, the children that you're trying to educate, the little ones that, that are having problems. Mm -hmm. Take five more minutes. But the teachers no longer want to take five minutes. Parents no longer have the ability to say, well, Johnny's a little unruly today. Let me spend time with him. When she's got five children, she can't. Because mm -hmm. then you end up with four unruly children, children while you're trying to help the fifth. And it's, that's where we lose them. That's when they become latchkeys. That's when the guy on the corner 
with the jewelry, with a fancy car. Yeah. Wow, he's looking good. What's he do? Mm -hmm. Lack of education. There's also a lack of um, male role models. I find there are no more male role models. There are, but there's just, there aren't that many. Which ones? Batman. Batman's Bat a role model. <laughs> Superman. Spider-Man. Yeah. I grew Walt. up on John Wayne. Oh, I love real John person. Wayne. Yeah. Glenn Miller, the guy who gave up a musical career to die in, in the war to show that he was an inspiration. These were the guys, the men of the 30s and the 40s, the men of the 50s were inspirational. But I'm talking about we have no people choice. in the communities. There aren't that many men going out there giving of their time. They don't want to. No, they don't. It's there are a lot of women. Because the guys are being it's self-defeating. How do I tell you? How do I tell a 15-year-old kid? I have a house. I have a job. I'm going to inspire you. But my next door neighbor is driving a BMW. He had ten thousand dollars worth of gold. The hottest women in mm -hmm. the neighborhood, yeah. and he ain't got a job. Mm -hmm. I can't compete with that. I can show you the world. But you know, Tony next door is the gangster. Hey, exactly. he's the man. Look at him. He's the go-to guy. We need men to go out there and take back the neighborhoods right to take our children back my children your children your, to like they did it takes a village mm -hmm. to raise a child but and I, we've lost that we've i have to that. say we need the women too i i feel that the media has done such a disservice a lot of it in the role models in the actresses oh the yes actors, in the singers Absolutely. the way that they're dressing i have an eight-year-old granddaughter and i see it's, it's starting already mm -hmm. right and you know, you have to, See, women need to be taught beefs. that they, they don't need to go out there, you know, wearing skirts that are right. just covering yes. their rear end, that it's just not proper. You see, and so we don't have heroes. But, but that's why at the house, too, we're trying to go that extra mile because, as you said, you made an important point, they get out of jail. And what kind of job are they going to get? Minimum wage? They can't survive. No. And if they've got any children at all, these women can't survive. So what do they go out and do? They'll go out and sell drugs or sell their bodies right. or steal. And, and they wind up back in jail. And what happens? What does society say? We didn't fail them. Exactly. Turn the blind eye. Turn the blind eye as we do in everything else mm -hmm. in this life. Well, you know, she was a nice girl when I met her. But who knew she was a prostitute? Well, you, you did. And instead of you just being strong enough to say, Come here. Let me hold you for five minutes or put you in a different direction or help you to put this light out and open this one. Nobody wants to get involved. How many people get involved and they get beat up? They get shot. They get intimidated. You know what? It's not my problem. Mm -hmm. That's our world. It's, it's not our problem. Lisa, do you have sufficient f w female role models for your Residents? We have people coming in, as I said, doing workshops, and uh, we ask them to go to church and, you know, mentor with people. They, we ask them to get sponsors, and that's in AA or NA, mm -hmm. but also we have people in the house. And, and I'm there a lot spending time with them. The house manager, housing director, is there spending time. And as I said, um, you know, one of the important things we're trying to do is provide everything meet their physical needs. Right. Um, we have a washer and dryer in the house so they're not paying for a laundromat. We give them shampoo, we give them toiletries, we give them clothing because if I don't give it to them, they'll go out and steal right. again. Or, and they come to us with this sense of victimhood, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they are victims, but they don't have to stay that way. Right. I really believe that God can heal them, but if they have that, that sense of entitlement, that they've been hurt, right. they've been wrong, so therefore they can go out and steal something because they need it. They have to have it. Well, so. Body Shop would like to help. Um, we have a wealth of resources. Uh, maybe we can come in and provide some sort of presentations on the body mechanic on nutrition or training. Um, I do self-esteem. I do HIV AIDS prevention. So um, let's connect, you know, afterwards. Give us your contact information. Okay. The website is www.livingwaterforwomen.org. Living Water for, for women. women. 
all written out, mm -hmm. all lowercase. The phone number is 516-759-0643. And you can email us at info at livingwaterforwomen.org. Awesome. And we respond to anyone. Thank you so and much for And we need coming. your help. We need everyone's help. Yes. This is a community problem. Mm -hmm. And that's what society needs to realize, that it costs over $100,000 to house someone in Nassau County Jail. It's our taxpayer Shh. money. We're throwing it away. There's no rehabilitation in the jail. It's very mm -hmm. little. It's all volunteers that come in there. That's right. That offer. And, and what's done after. If we don't follow up after, they keep going back. That's right. I, I've seen women in there five, six times in the last 11 years. Lisa, thank you for wearing Body Shop Blue, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite color. Thank you so much for being with us today, and we will definitely be doing some work together in the near future. All right. Thank you All for right? having me. Oh, you're quite welcome. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Automatic freshness, softness, and static control has never been easier with the Bounce Dryer Bar. I just stick it to the inside of my dryer, and I never have to remember. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray makes you smell like power! It's so powerful, it sells itself in other people's commercials. You smell like outdoor freshness. You smell like power. Yeah, I do. <laughs> power! Ba -ba 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 power! Try this routine to feel fresh and clean. Pair Charmin Fresh Mates with your Charmin. Oh, Old Spice Body Spray is too powerful to stay in its own commercial. That's right. Ba -ba 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 power! Whoa. Old Spice Body Spray can change a regular smelling man into a man who smells like power! Now, how is this? Ah! Wow, you know what? I actually do feel more power. Potato chips! <laughs> ba -ba 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 power! It's me! Dad, where do babies come from? Uh, oh. Well, there's a... Uh, th th there's that big, shiny rocket ship. That's right, it's filled with babies. Babies of all kinds. And when the shiny rocket ship penetrates, mommy and dad goes, uh, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. And when the time is just oh. right, there's a space launch. All systems go. Babies of all kinds. Released all over the place. Yeah, Africa. Uh, well, mommy's baby Landia. That's right, it's filled with babies. After an amazing nine months, babies. And that, son, is where babies come from. But Jake said babies come from planet. Baby Landia. You go, play with us on the bus. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Wheels on the bus go round and round. Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8am to 5.30pm. Sundays, 8am to 4pm. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral Soaps and Waxes. 
Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act One Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act One will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act One Entertainment.net for a free, no obligation price quote, or call 631 758 3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. YesWeCare.net is a 501c3 charity that provides help to veterans and their families. Please visit YesWeCare.net and donate in any way you can by purchasing our beautiful frame prints or relaxation CDs and DVDs, even smooth jazz CDs. YesWeCare.net. Remember, our troops are on their way home. They need all the support they can get. YesWeCare.net. Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, and I'm missing my right-hand man, the body mechanic. He's out sniffing, chewing, smelling, eating organic mushrooms. I have no idea. He's hanging out in Connecticut. Much love. We miss you. But I have Paulie standing in the gap today. Um, right now, I'd like to introduce you to Deirdre Avery. Deirdre, welcome to Body Shop TV. Well, thank you so much for having us here. Oh, and you are, dear heart? Aisha Brown. Aisha, welcome to Body Shop TV. Now, Deidre, I met you about two months ago, and you stuck my arm in this machine and told me that based on this machine, the insides of my body reflect a 99-year-old woman. So Did I I'm tell you was that old? 99 years old. I didn't think so I was. I, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of my homework, a lot of juicing and drinking water and going to the gym and swimming. So I'm looking forward to seeing the difference. Okay. So tell me all about this product. Well, it's all natural, mm -hmm. and um, it's been around about 17 years or so. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it's been around 2,000 years, the fruit. And we brought it to the United States about 17 years ago. The name of the fruit? Um, well, it's Marinda Citrifolia. That's the scientific name. But a lot of people know it as Noni. Oh, Noni, the right. Noni juice. Yes. Okay, okay. And Tahitian Noni right. is the one that we're dealing with. The one from Tahiti, okay. which is a little more more potent because of their the soil is lava soil. Mm -hmm. So the lava soil allows it to get more potent because it grows through lava. It can grow and do a whole lot of things. Right. And um, what happens is with the potency, it's transferred to us because it was the adversities that they have in terms of growing and um, the protection that it takes. It, it's protected against like fungus and viral, vi viruses and, and bacteria and um, let's say ants and what have you because mm -hmm. they have a bitter taste. So all this allows it to get really good for us and, and makes it, um, transfers those properties, those good properties to us and makes us being able to get a little stronger and better and younger. Did you bring any Noni juice for me to test and try? Actually, I do have some. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, all yeah, right. Yeah, we can, we can break it out. Actually, it's not cold, though. No, so no, no. I don't like things cold. Oh, but the thing is, it's a little bitter. It's something That's to okay. get used to. Okay. Right? We, yeah. Once we, we can chug it down. Not and how much do you drink? It depends on what's going on. If you have ad adversities going into your body, Personally, usually it's one ounce twice a day, so it's not a lot. I recently had surgery last year. I drink a little more because I had things removed, mm -hmm. <laughs> like my ovaries. Okay. So I already had gone through menopause, but all of a sudden not having that extra little estrogen in my body, mm -hmm. which I still was making, different world. 
I, yeah. All of a sudden, I had hot flashes and night sweats, and I never had that before. I didn't know what it was until. <laughs> wow. So I just drank a little extra, and it was amazing. I was able to sleep like a baby. Aww. And what happened was right before I had my surgery, I had my true age scanned. And I was 61, which, okay, I'm proud to say I'm 50, I was 55 at that point, mm -hmm. which wasn't bad, you know. And 61, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. And I had been drinking. But then what happened was, since I had surgery, I thought it was going to go higher the next month when I got scanned. Well, because I guess I was drinking a little more, I was chugging it up. It went down to 55 so I was like wow. my age but in two and a half months I got scanned again and I was down to 41 so 20 years wow came down that's awesome by using my beverage and doing a little exercise and when I couldn't even do exercise during that time because I had surgery but just by just taking my juice every day brought it down now this scanner reflects your age based on what well it's based on a all the population, other people, mm -hmm. okay? Because I'm going to take your 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 chronological age, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take it and put it into the database, which is in the computer, because it's all computerized and what have you. And then it's going to measure your AGEs, which are in your skin. It, it has a certain wavelength, and it measures through a UV spectrophotometer, and it will read these UV, um, these um, wavelengths, and it detects this AGEs, which is advanced glycation end products. And previously, the only way you could measure it was through a biopsy or a, a blood, blood test. Mm. And we actually scanned, um, we tested it. We did clinical trials, and we saw that biopsy and blood work is 99% accurate. Wow. To this machine. That's awesome. And in Europe, actually, they're using it as a medical marker in the hospitals and doctor's offices. And we're slow. <laughs> so what, what inspired you to get involved in this? Well, let me tell you. Well. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Originally, I was um, introduced to this beverage, which mm -hmm. is the noni juice. Right. Probably about uh, eight nine years ago. When I tasted it, I thought it was the most awful thing around. Mm -hmm. And my husband brought it home and I was like, I am not drinking this. No way. I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're just not ready right. for something. So um, fast forward, my cousin, who was a cousin that I only saw on special occasions, you know, funerals, weddings, and um, anniversaries. Um, she came, she had her 40th anniversary. So she came in and she She's looking good, you know, she's a little older than me and what have you. So I said, okay. Um, we hung out, and she said, well, I'm going to call you. I was like, yeah, okay. We always said, but she was right. always into something, okay, always. Mary Kay, um, prepaid legal, you name it. She was always into something. So um, I said, call me. Okay. So she called me. We always said we'd call, mm -hmm. but, you know, you, you say you call and you just don't call. So she called me, and um, she invited me out, and um, she came over, and she brought the stuff. She says, oh, I got this Noni juice. And I was like, oh, I tried it. I didn't like it. Oh, but it's different flavors. Oh, you like it. I said, okay. So I tried it. I said, okay, I can take this. So I, I got the lowest, lowest one because it was grape. I was like, oh, okay, I can deal with the grape. Mm -hmm. So I started drinking it, and we were drinking it like it was all right, you know. This one here, mm. <laughs> she didn't even know. I wasn't even involved. I was just drinking it. For eight months, I drank it as a customer. Okay. And then about four months, I went to the doctor. I was on three blood pressure medicines. They wanted to put me on cholesterol medicine. And they wanted to, I was on also Nexium, mm -hmm. okay, because I had acid reflux. And I went, and I was exercising. Always a big girl, mm -hmm. okay? Big girl. Big girl to the big girl. You know, hey. <laughs> but I was over 300 pounds at one point. Ooh. Okay, I was over 300 pounds. I had, had, um, lap band surgery and everything. Okay. I was exercising, doing all this stuff, but I wasn't losing no weight. Mm -hmm. But, and I was still not healthy. I still was toxic. My body was toxic. So as I said, three blood pressure medicines. So I went to the doctor and they were like, you know, you can come off of two of your blood pressure medicines. You don't need cholesterol. And um, how's your acid reflux? I'm like, I haven't had any acid reflux. You know, you kind of don't 
realize. After how okay. long you were you drinking it? Um, that was about four months, but mm -hmm. I, just, I still didn't even associate it with that. Right, right. So then they came out with a body composition program, and now my husband actually, he actually had gone and started doing a little something, something with it. And, but I wasn't ready. I was like, I was taking care of my grandma. She was 101. Aww. I had things going on. I was like trying to take care of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, it just wasn't happening. I'm like, mm, no, I'll just drink. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, my husband went to some meeting and he came back and he's like, I got you something. It's about body composition. You need to try it. I'll, I'll buy it for you once and everything's cool. So I said, okay, I'll try it. So I tried it. And three weeks later, People started asking me, what you doing? I said, really? What am I doing? You want something? I had three customers, and I, I wasn't even in the business, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you wanted to share. Right. You know, because this was so phenomenal. So about a month later, I shared with this young lady, mm -hmm. actually her aunt. Mm -hmm. And her aunt was like, oh my gosh, this is so phenomenal. You, you look know? so young. <laughs> a little baby. <laughs> I get that a lot. Well, Aisha just turned 29. You know, wow. and she attributes her little baby. She just had a baby about a oh, year ago. Oh, yes, nice. And um, I, well, I guess I can tell my little story then. Um, a few years ago, my grandparents they passed away within two years of each other in the mid '60s. Um, wow. That concerned me because I was at the time probably like 25, 26, mm -hmm. and I was thinking about if they died so young. I'm approaching 30. Will they die from? Um, diabetes, stroke. They had like a lot of different ailments going on. So it was like lifestyle choices that they made. Right. And I'm like, okay, so 60s is where I see everybody's kind of leaving in my family and around, you know, my, my family's family, you know, like friends and stuff. Right. And I said, if I'm approaching 30, that means that's my middle age. Right. I said, I have to try something different. I said, that's not, I plan on living for a long time. Mm -hmm. So my goal was to try to see what was it that, you know, took them shortly, you know, before their time and look into it. So then I started realizing it was their lifestyle, what they ate. So I was watching all these documentaries about food and all this, you know, natural health stuff. And I said, okay, my dad said, you know, natural living is good. But um, I wasn't really listening to him. So I had to do my own research. And after a while, um, I started realizing that, okay, I have to change the way I eat. You know, I live by myself now. I got to try to grow up a little bit and see what made me, me, what, did, what worked better for me, you know, my future. So I realized it had to be the lifestyle. You know, I was working two jobs and stuff. So I had to realize I had to kind of control, you know, my stress. I had to control my diet, you know, work out a little bit more. And then she came around and I seen that she had a company. I did other companies too. And it was in my streamline of what I wanted to do as far as, you know, natural and, mm -hmm. you know, health and stuff. I said, okay, and then being with the company and then learning about decisions as far as lifestyle, this, I got you know, basically motivated to go back to school. So me looking into what I wanted to go to school for many years prior, I said, well, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? And I said, nutrition. So that's why I went back to school and got my BA in um, nutrition science. Very nice. And um, along the course, I said, okay, you know, I learned what it is that I need to do. You know, and I said, okay, if I change my diet now, you know, drink this product, which you know, keeps me you know, healthy. I said, then I'm going to surpass my middle age and, right. you know, I'm not going to go as soon as I think, you know, or oh, I plan on to when it comes to this. You know, other, you know, fi factors can kind of come in. But for the most part, I like, you know, this company. I love my schooling. You know, I love, you know, this this new branch, this this new lifestyle I'm getting into. How long you been involved? I've been in for like five years. Wow. So, I mean, it's, it's a really, really good thing, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I'm just trying to just let my friends and my family know that there's other choices. You don't have to stay on medication, which has side effects and stuff. There's natural ways to take care of yourself. And food is supposed to be like our medicine. Mm -hmm. You know, if you eat the right foods, you know, and you live the right way, you know, you could live for a while. Right. You know, and, and be healthy and natural, you know, That's in right. that process, you know. Is your family from any of the islands? My grandmother's from Trinidad. Trini. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of rice and beans, right? Um. These are the rice, rice and peas. Rice and peas is more like the Spanish food. But no. But um, <laughs> on her own part, you have like roti. You know, you get a lot of curry going on okay. in this part. But um, she grew up, she was from Trinidad, but she had like um, an uh, embrace for the southern cooking. Mm -hmm. You know, she had a lot of military guys. So, you know, my grandfather, my step-grandfather. So we didn't eat a lot of Caribbean food. We ate more southern style food. I so see. this contributed to the bad eating. Right, you know? So right. that was a lot of the... But yeah. you know, my grandma, she was 101, so you have to say, and she was from the South, oh, and yeah. she ate good. I, I wish this 
instrument was available at that point to read her because she was 101 and she still walked straight. And by, before she passed away, she was on this. And she ended up actually having um, a broken hip. And they did the surgery because she was strong. But, and she came through it, but then she ended up getting exposed to the C. difficile. And one of the girls at the business told me to put this into her, her um, feeding tube. Mm -hmm. the girlfriend came out of, a, cause she, after she had um, an issue, she had a stroke, mm -hmm. and put it in her feeding tube, and she came out of that, and she tried to come back. Wow. But it did make her alert, and she was watching TV, and she tried to talk. Uh. This stuff is phenomenal, you know, and it's helped so many people yeah. just even just the quality of life gotten off of um, medicines mm -hmm. and and just get, get a little healthier you know than doing what what's going on right now people are dying because of the medications because they're made from plants right. medicinal plants but they're synthesizing it that our body doesn't recognize That's it right. and then what happens is we react to those and we, we get the side effects so w this is a natural product which is not synthesized so our body takes it and it just makes our bodies better so read me read you okay i'm nervous w wait a minute now did you put lotion on no oh good okay. <laughs> That's, that's the main thing you have oh, before. A little bit. Oh, no! Should I take this off or keep no, it no, on? No, no, that's okay. fine. Um, remind me of your... <laughs> okay, you can say it's just me. I forgot. <laughs> I think they can hear us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the mic is like right by us. Well, we, we look good for our age. Yeah, black don't, don't crack. That's it. Okay. My mom always says that. And, okay, we're going to see. But you weren't that old. I think it was just a little. What do people say when you give them, we do the reading, and it comes out like a really high number? Well, it depends. It, when it comes out high, it depends on certain factors. Sometimes it is because of what they're eating, stress, um, the way they're preparing the foods. Um, sometimes it's just because they have some certain things on their skin. So it depends. So, like, when this comes into a doctor's office, it's going to say, please do not wear lotions or what have you for, the, for at least two or three days. Because it will be in every doctor's office. For doctor's. two or three days? Yes, because what happens is this, the, the, the lotions and what have you. Put on the rest of your you're, body. You're, you're only going to scan the arm. You've gotten so. better. <gasps> wow. Ah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so viewers. <laughs> you can so come up. No, first tell your um, chronological age. My, my real age is yes. 56. Okay. And this says I'm um, 54. Right. What's 213? 213 is the AGEs, which is the advanced glycation end products, which it's measuring. Um, with the spectrophotometer, the, the AGE scanning um, reader, the reader. So I have a confession to make. Uh -huh. when, I, when I met De De Deidre about a month or so, how long ago was that? It was only Two about months. a month, a month and a half or so. About Maybe two months. I, I think it was about yeah, two months. Yeah, about two months. So when you read me, the number was 61. Okay. And today is 54. So I'm doing something right. Yes. Right? You, and that's what it is. Okay, our product will make it even better. Mm -hmm. But if you cook your foods a little better, you know, slow cooking, and you're adding, um, let's say, lemon or what have you, that cuts out the AGEs. Um, of course, frying, no good. Right. You know, certain stress get sleep. Mm -hmm. um, that was my issue. What, what else? Um, as far as um, like being physically active. Very. Mm -hmm. yeah. That definitely helps. Very. I, I've, I've not done that. But last time I got scanned, which was last week, 32. Hello. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, that's great. So, things are just, yeah. you, want, you want people to know about healthy alternatives. Because we are tired of not having healthy alternatives. Right. You know? So I really am so happy you got us to come out. This you know, is so and interesting. Um, I, I would love to have you back on and spend more time yes, with me. Yes, definitely, and, uh, definitely. And maybe when the body mechanic is here, because he likes to run his mouth oh, about okay, okay. wellness. That so. would be fantastic, because <laughs> you know what? Everybody needs to know about this, because it's an awareness. We're on a mission to get everybody to be aware of what's going on and having a, a different alternative, because okay. it's not just about 
um, our drink and what have mm -hmm. you, but it's all about the how lifestyle. the yeah. whole lifestyle. So yeah. I'm confused. The True Age is one product, and no, the, the True Age is our scanner, but it tells us it's the way to, to measure. But we also have a way to manage. Oh, and I see. The managing the is the juice. Oh. Yeah. So knowing your true so age is the full awareness concept that we're trying to promote. Exactly. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Very good. Are you guys in a hurry? Can you hang around we for a while? We can hang around, yeah. All right, because I'd, I'd like to maybe bring you back on later or okay. another time, because I want to talk about the juice. Okay. All right. Okay. Not a problem. All right, great. Sounds so, good. This is very interesting. Ah. Give us some information on how to contact you ladies. Oh, definitely. Okay. Um, well, my telephone number is 917-579-5221. That's 917-579-5221. And um, our website, my website is www.trueage.com um, slash 319-7295. That's a lot. Uh, let me say it slow. Hi, it's mymarinda.com slash okay, 325-2062. That's my website. Uh, same thing. It's mymarinda dot com slash will be three one nine seven two nine five but what happens is we also have a little three minute video three to five three to four minute video okay. and it's real real cool so that's why I say www.trueage.com slash three one nine seven two nine five ladies okay. thank you so much thank for being you. here I really appreciate oh, it oh thank you for inviting us this was such a pleasure very nice okay. when we come back we're going to be with the cookie lady. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I am Tom Mealy for the Harrison Law Group, and I have been telling you for years that getting involved in an automobile accident is no joke. This is what we do. We're not new at this game. If you've been involved in an accident of any kind and you go to a law firm that says you have no case, it's simple. It's because they can't do it and they don't get it. You need to call us directly at 1-800-INJURY-LAW. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. <laughs> For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours, famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. Dad, where do babies come from? Uh, oh, well, there's a, uh, th th there's that big, shiny rocket ship. That's right, it's filled with babies, babies of all kinds. And when the shiny rocket ship penetrates, mommy, dad goes, uh, oh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and when the time is just oh. right, there's a space launch. All systems go. Babies of all kinds. Released all over the place. Yeah, Africa. Uh, well, mommy's baby Landia. That's right, it's filled with babies. After an amazing nine months, babies. And that, son, is where babies come from. But Jake said babies come from planet. Baby Landia. You go, play with us on the bus. Wheels on the bus go round
Christina. Welcome, Welcome back to Body Shop TV. My name is Chella, and my co-host for today, Paulie. Paulie, what's <laughs> up? What's Not up? Man. We missed the body mechanic today. He's out uh, doing his organic mushroom treaty with his new nation tribe in Connecticut. And I'd like to welcome Carla. Hi. Carla, the cookie lady, cookie, the cooking lady. Cooking right? lady. I was so honored to meet Carla at the recent Naval Expo, and she let me try this cookie that was, I could I love chocolate. And she gave me a chocolate chip cookie that I couldn't stop eating. It was so, so delicious, and it's so, so good for you. It is. So tell me all about your products. Uh, all the products are based in my experience of many years. Uh, I am a health coach and holistic nutritionist, and I study also Ayurvedic medicine. So I try to produce things uh, according with that, with the chakras and healing process. Nice. So, uh, and, and I did, for example, like uh, cookies with beets and carrots, or another with kale and peppermint. So things that uh, really refresh, they are different, and the main thing for me, they are nutritional mm -hmm. as well because they are very low in sugars, high levels in nutrients that give us, right, the good uh, healthy that we need so much in the last moments in our lives. I mean, it's, That's right. it's a hard timing for everybody. So Now, Carla, do you have a shop? No, I don't have a store or shop. It's mm -hmm. just through the web. Uh, I just moved from Spain like two years ago. Nice. So, and from that period, I was learning what here are the, the needs as well. What part of Spain? Madrid. Madrid. Have you ever heard of Figuera, Spain? Oh, yeah. That's my, that's my that's my last name. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're coming for a beautiful place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they tell me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So my intention here was to to produce things that uh, they are healthy and yummy and good for everybody. But not only that, it's it's, it's one part of um, my company. It's also promoting through education, um, healthy eating. Uh, we are creating as well organic uh, gardens for kids and teaching nutrition. Oh, that's teaching. awesome. Oh, it's very nice. It's where do you do? Good. Where are you doing that? Uh, I'm living in Northport right now. Okay. Um, so it's, it's around my neighborhood, but I'm, I'm just right now to spread myself um, through workshops about cooking and giving cooking lessons and showing how to eat uh, in the seasonal wow. things. Do you go to Nassau County? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah? yeah I'm like, where are you? Oh, what that's you awesome, because I work with a lot of Nassau County kids. Oh. And I'm always looking nice. for professionals to come in and share their gifts yeah. with the children. Oh, so nice. that would be awesome. This is very nice. And kids love kitchen. Yeah. And it is to be hands-on, to learn about things, right? And, uh, and, and they love when they are doing yummy things that the after can share with the parents. And it's very important. I mean, I, mean, I was really surprised as your um, people before me mm -hmm. talk about. Uh, we are in a moment really, um, uh, really dramatic in the illness and sickness and all that. Mm -hmm. So with very little things like love and good nutrition, you can resolve many problems. That's right. Well, so. That's right. Have you always eaten organically? Um, since w when I can, yes. I mean, sometimes it could be more expensive, mm -hmm. but I prefer to give really... Um, fresh and natural organic products to my kids and my family and to reduce from another another part of my income so my financial uh, you know a family economical situation so I think that everybody if there are awareness about how we are eating mm -hmm. and how the environment is important as well everybody can make a little bit effort to to provide good without pesticides and right. you know additives that cost really um, uh, several illness and sickness and this is for the future generations as mm -hmm. well and our kids here and in Europe as well I mean they are really sick and we need to provide the best that we can to create a good society as well right? that's right Polly so, can you imagine yeah. yourself eating organic food no. they don't sell organic food at McDonald's you know no yeah. I hate McDonald's oh uh, what oh no I, you went to McDonald's one day when I was here you didn't eat McDonald's food? I don't eat McDonald's. Oh. I don't eat McDonald's, Burger King. Would you eat White Castles? Oh, that's even worse. What? Jelly bombs. I get sick. No. The body mechanic does. That's why he, never mind. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. Now I see why he does what he does. I lived in Queens, and we used to always eat the White Castles. Mm. You know, 
was like, oh, God, help me, Lord. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then I got older and said, oh, is that the White Castle? Yeah, I'm going in the other direction. I just, that's a desperation food. That's when you have a dollar in your pocket. Right. You <laughs> <growling>. <laughs> and then you run the White Castle. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Otherwise, you stay away from that. I don't even like eating in a diner. I'd rather cook. Yeah, it's, it's lovely to cook. You, you cook, Polly? Yeah, I do. You cook well? Very well. Really? Yes. Well, you need to adorn the body shop with your cooking, but man. I, I was a chef. No way. I was a chef when I was younger. I started out as a breakfast cook in, in a Howard Johnson's because I was the dishwasher. Wow. They needed to cook. So I can make bacon and eggs. The next thing I knew, yeah. like six months later, I was the manager, and I had learned how to cook. And then from there, I just went to bigger restaurants I ended up working at the 56 Fighter Group. I was one of the main chefs there. And I cooked some pretty wicked stuff. And then I met Annie. Then I met Annie. <laughs> and my lovely partner is extremely Italian. And I said, well, what do I need to cook? You know how to. <laughs> and I stopped. And now my kids yell at me because I no longer make biscuits and gravy. Aww. My southern food. And that's all, all of it's made from scratch, everything I do. I'm impressed. Yeah. I just, well, you gotta cook for us, Paulie. Yeah, well, I, I'm one of those guys that y y people, when I go to people's houses, they say, oh, we're eating spaghetti, and I look at the plate and go, okay, who ordered the, the ragu from aisle four? <laughs> because this, and they how do you know that? Because I know, I'm a, I'm a chef. I can look at your food and tell you whether or not you're gonna eat it or return it. But it, was, it was a lot of fun, it was a good period. That's cool. But I like to cook. Me and my friend Ralphie, my, my, my boy Neat. Ralph, he's a sous chef. So, so call her. Tell, show us what you brought here today. Yeah, this one I'm interested right? in. Right, me I too. See, I, see I love hummus. I, uh, there are hummus, three kinds. I have four kinds. Um, this is peanut butter that is amazing. It's all homemade. Everything. Peanut butter hummus? Oh, yeah. yeah. You have to try it. It's no. a special. I never heard of that. Of course, there is not. But, but it's so delicious. It's yummy. You can, you can try. Red peppers with um, roasted uh, chickpeas with this um, Mediterranean uh, spices. And this is cauliflower roasted hummus as well. I have another with guacamole that is amazing, and another with a spinach that kids love it because they are the, the flavors are nice, um, they are freshy, mm -hmm. and they are new as well. I don't know, but they are they are healthy. I don't know. It's, it's really yummy. Um, the cookies as well. Um, those that I brought is like a, a coconut and almond. Oh, um, I like those. Those are good. You can try. Those, those are, are good. Ones. And those are delicious as well because I create like a veggie cookies with veg veggies actually. Mm -hmm. And the kids also and families can eat it like a snack, but uh, it's not high in calories, not bad sugars, good for your metabolism. You they're gluten free. They're gluten free. Yeah, that was the big They're thing. vegan as well. Uh, they're organic and on GMO. So for me, to, it's a long process. I mean, it's not easy at all. Uh, but it's, a, it's the best that a person mm -hmm. can offer to others, right, about what is the food around uh, in our days. No? So how do you market yourself? How do you let people know that you have these awesome products? Um, now I started like uh, in the local market that they are delicious. I started in a few of them. Um, also by uh, in the web, they can see all the products and I, I create as, as well like a healthy berry parties an event that they are also with all the Mediterranean flavors and Middle East flavors as well. Um, I don't have a store because it's really expensive to right. start with. Um, but you know, through my workshops as well about cooking and healthy and sharing, this is the, the way that i um, pushing my products and also to share my knowledge about healthy eating and, and I don't know, caring about ourselves and our environment. So, and, and I'm very creative. I mean, all the time, trying to do new <laughs> things and, and, you know, it's like alchemia. Mm -hmm. So this is. And the name of your product is the Green Nevit. Nevit. Yes. Uh, How did you come up with that name? Uh, Nevit is, means in the Old Testament, in Hebrew actually, um, means seeds. 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 Semilla. Semillas. Mm -hmm. So my intention is to do green semillas. Mm -hmm. We can spread all over the world with the good intentions, with, with love. Uh, with, with food, uh, caring about one or to each other, right? That's um, nice. And yes, and I learned when I, I lived in Israel like a 12 years, 12 years, mm -hmm. and I had the beautiful chance to live with the Bedouins in the desert. And 
within, with, with nothing. They create like a holding and family, caring, no? And they are, bit, I mean, they are nomads, so they are moving around. So, so this brings to me like a less spread out seats all over. Very nice, very nice. And how can our viewers contact you? Through my web, or right now, my phone number. Okay. The green nevet, nevet dot com mm -hmm. or my phone number is six three one five nine nine oh six five four. Say it again. Six three one five nine nine oh six five four. All right. And if not by the web, oh yes, uh, or the, there is the, um, the mail and all that. Yeah. So what are these two packages? Oh sure, these two packages are also granola. Oral made with uh, also gluten free and vegan. <laughs> la la la. <laughs> well, I have the, the new thing is you got a pizza parlor. It's gluten free. Yeah. Like, and, give me a break. But this is how it's it's hard. It's, it's it's because we are eating a lot of non GM. I mean products that they are modified genetically. So all the sensitivity about uh, food allergies. I had in Spain a store in a company specialist in food allergies, and I was impressed how the percentage of kids that are with huge allergies or babies they are all with just born and they're right. out with why why it's coming no why, why what is coming all these things and I had the, the chance to study about all the genetic issues around yes. it so uh, and this is delicious if you're studying this in their breakfast with a little bit of I don't know a good tea oh, or you just can't open it up with a spoon and yes. like like this, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, you have to try. It's lovely. It's very nice. They have some the fruits mouth. and papaya, good for the metabolism, good for the liver, and so they have. I'm building or producing things with the sense of healing, healing. or caring about the digestive system and awesome. our, our health. So that's right awesome. up Lloyd's alley digestive right? system. Yes. And what's the other package? The same it thing? It is the same thing. It has some uh, veggies as well. It's a granola. You don't feel it, but there are, there are beets as well. They have uh, some carrots as well. And, and they are delicious because you taste the real uh, flavor of, of, the, of the product itself. So has your home turned into a, uh, a manufacturing site? I would love to. Yes, I mean, slowly, slowly, we are creating. Also, I'm learning. I'm learning from the customers what mm -hmm. they love the most, what they like, what they need, know what I want, so what they need, and to listen, observing, uh, and just being for what the best I can do for, for sharing all, all of it. You, you will love it. The smell. Yeah, I'm right. right. Okay. So, Carla, where do you see yourself two years from now? I see... Um, that all my knowledge should be donated. And um, mm. in the way that uh, through my uh, workshops, my intention is to create awareness about how we are eating, how we are being, how we're caring our, our, about our environment. Um, and it's more my, by, by sharing, right? And, to, and, to, and I see myself speaking through and to a lot of people and, and trying to learn as well about what we need as a society, as a, you know, the, everybody needs um, to be whole, I think, and to know about all, all these things and, and to try them and to... I'll tell you, I'm, it's not that big group. So come on, let's eat. Let's open yes. up and eat. I'm looking at right, Namun. Yeah. You know what? I see me making a phone How do we eat this, her? though? There's no oh, crackers yes. or anything. Yeah, I brought uh, some spoons. No, my, the crackers sold out. I, I want to taste this peanut butter you one. Try. It, this sounds weird. Sounds weird, yeah, but they are delicious. Peanut butter, lemon, are garlic, olive, me? chickpeas. Chilies, chickpeas, that's it. I'm eating the whole what? thing. Do I have to mix it up? Unbelievable. You better, now you better save me some, Polly. Oh, yeah. Do I mix it all up? Or just, yes or just like, what's in the middle? Oh, this is has like a peanut butter itself. So oh. all the crunches are in the middle, yeah. And mm. I, I bring it just plain. Let me tell you something. Bang. Uh. From someone who loves the... This is like thing. the best. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's, uh, That's good. Bite one of those. And, um, oh, this is whatever. But well, I, I like, I want this one. I, I, want the other I like cranberry. Cranberries are the best. And there are beets mm. on that. Beets and carrots as well. That um, yummy. Unbelievable. This is better than McDonald's, Paulie, right? Oh. Hell of <laughs> And white pastel. And you know what? My intention is well that everybody can have it. Uh, 
I mean, my margin is little, but I want that you and you and you and kids that they can and family that they can, or, you know, there is no difference between money here. It's just to that share. Those cookies are like gone out of this world. You're lucky I'm even letting you touch them. Wait, wait, this is what? Coconut? Coconut, almond, maple syrup, and my magic. Do you use, do you use natural maple syrup? Yes. Everything is natural, no. So now I can dig eating this. Yeah. This is really, really good. Mm. Especially those, forget it. Oh, I, if, I, good. if I had a box like this, I'd be walking around just chewing on yeah. it. Mm. But you metabolize right because there are not, no, no sugars, the no point. processes food. You can't mm -hmm. eat this and White Castles. How about I give up the White Castles <laughs> and I just eat these and these <laughs> with a glass of milk. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm good. Really the coconut are good. Out of this mm. world. In the web, you can see all the rest. I have like a peppermint. This is killer. Yeah, this, this is, this is nice. killer. Well, I want to taste this one. Wait, yes, which yes, one is this sure. one? Ca cauliflower, roasted cauliflower. It's, it's also very yummy. And I, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at this. Thank you. Taste hand. the hummus. You like hummus? Yeah, go ahead. Just mm. try. You scared? No. So the red pepper may be the spicy one. Mmm. Hold on, Joe. Now, now you got me interested. I want to taste this one too. Oh, sorry. So go ahead. Now this is has what in it? You, I don't know if you you, you have it. just chickpeas it's and tahini and lemon and has some roasted cauliflower. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. This is sharp shit. And this is a you have to dig all the puree chickpeas. Or this the that is sharp shit. I like. This is good. Go Take ahead. more go from the bottom. Come on, the chickpeas there. Man up, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. come on, you guys. Yeah, go, go, go. go. There is. Uh, What's on the, the bottom? Yeah, oh. all the chickpeas are on, there. on the bottom. <laughs> 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 I like this one, and I like this one. Yep. It's, it, everybody has their own taste and their own needs. Unbelievable. So. I want another one of these. That nice. that's the winner right there. Yeah. This, this one, right? This yeah. is yeah. good. That's the winner. Mm. That and these. <laughs> and these, I, I, I'm good for the No, day. Paul, you got to taste the chocolate chip cookies. Oh, they yes. are to die for. Oh, my God. Those are yummy, right? Look, I got <laughs> like one coming up. <laughs> I, first, it was Girl Scout cookies. They're, they're out of the question. These are the cookies that are going in my saddlebag. Oh, and really? I promise there'll be a war over them. Once they taste them, there'll be a war. war my right. friends will be like, where did you get them, dude? You, you know how bikers are. We're idiots. Yeah. If it tastes good, we <laughs> want it. So how do we get this? We go to you. That's my next question. Yes, I mean, or through the web, and uh, you can that order. That takes too long. Uh, if not, call, call me, and I will cook for you, and I will, will beat everything. We have a yeah. party, Wally. Yeah. Uh, does it come in a bigger box? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it will, and they'll last forever. Yes. My question: <laughs> Does it come in a bigger box? Yes. Because we got that big <laughs> July Fourth blowout coming and I'll tell you I need a box of those mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be poolside. You're so fine. thank you. Uh, thank it's you. great. It's They're great. very nice. They're yummy. I love food. I love to eat. So tomorrow morning breakfast granola a la and this. Just the smell of it is like oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Very good. It, thank this, you. this is this really. <laughs> <laughs> I need a case of it. I need a case of this yeah, oh no. and All what right. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in my saddlebag. So we go on a on a road trip. Yeah. Everybody's gonna be Pop pulling over. Mouth. Yeah. They're gonna be looking for candy bars. I'm gonna be sucking on coconut. <laughs> and yeah. and they're gonna be like, oh no, dude. There's the two of them. I can tell really. They're very nice. They're very really very unbelievably. Nice. They're they, they so. are sweet. and just. I I wouldn't even say it because it's so ridiculous, but it's funny. <laughs> Did you ever see Saturday Night Live? Yes. Sweaty balls. Yes. This is what this reminds me of. They're salt. <laughs> they're salty. They're sweet. They're, they're not too hard. They're not Thank too you for cold. sharing, Paul. They're just sweaty <laughs> balls. They're okay. fantastic. I have to look for a war. war is <laughs> 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 These are just great. I love them. I really, I, I they're really. They're good. Thank I you. Get, give one to Annie and watch Annie's face. She'll be like, whoa, go get them. Yeah. Because they're that good. They're that good. I, I, I will bring you more next time. Wow. To you to share. This yeah. is so cool. Do not send any to Tom Mealy. Okay. <laughs> if you send it to Madhouse, it's to Paul first and then Chella. Okay. <laughs> so it's my box. Okay, I'll well, share it well. with you. So Carla, yes. do you have any closing remarks that you want to give to our listeners about wellness and 
organic food, organic cooking? Um, I think uh, in this time of our lives, we need to stop ourselves a little bit um, to think how we are living, how we are caring about ourselves and our kids. Um, it's in very important to return to the traditional way of being where our grandmas and mommies teach us. This is the best thing that we can uh, give a, like a heritage for the future generations mm -hmm. as well. And organic, if you realize, is the natural food that our, you know, grand-grandmothers cook and, and, and grow the, the veggies into the earth. Abuelitas. Abuelitas, sí, nuestras abuelas y madres que son mm -hmm. las maravillosas del mundo. <laughs> <laughs> so, claro. just, uh, that's it, it's just to common sense, stop ourselves because we are running all the time. That's right, we live in a microwave world, yes. Carla. Oh, yeah. exactly. So I think we have to really realize how we are living mm -hmm. and, to, and to change our, our way of being. Carla, thank you so much for being on Body Shop TV. We really oh, appreciate I it. Me too. You're really 100. enjoyed you, and thank you for all these samples. Thank you. I loved, I loved it. Believe me, I'm going to be ordering it because I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like coconut. And, in fact, I bought snowballs when I went out to the deli before. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, do you have any closing remarks? Not really. It was a, a lot of fun. I had a good time, but this was the best. This was the this, best. <laughs> this was the best part of the show. I, I lie to you not. Thank you. I am not, as you can tell, <laughs> I am not a health food kind of guy, but that, the cookies got me going, the hummus. I'm not a big fan of hummus, but you know what? I know what? A little trick you did is, is fantastic. It's enough Thank to you. change my mind. Very it's nice. good. Yeah, You'll be finding that stuff in my house. So. Yeah, <laughs> so. But definitely. I, I lie to you not. I kid you not. Because that, especially those. I'm going to introduce this and this to my two grandchildren oh. that I live with. And my They'll Gianna is going to go after this like a duck for water. Paulie, thank you for standing in the gap today while the body mechanic is away thank on his mushroom you. festival. I hope thank you so much. mushrooms all turn out good. <laughs> 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 hope and you can crab meat them and stuff them. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for joining us today on Body Shop TV. Join us on Monday, this Monday, May 17th, as we do our Touch Sensorium at the awesome Hill School of One, 203 East. Pulaski Road in Huntington Station, we're going to be giving you massages, veggie juicing, and all kinds of wellness modalities. If you are a business, you want to share your, your goods, you may want to be a part of this. The tables are only $30 from 7 to 10 p.m. this Monday, May 17th. Have an awesome week. I want you to love hard and kiss long.